please feel free to write in the chat, etc. during uh, this webinar. Uh, and we'll take the questions in the chat, even though I know they have a Q&A section now, uh, but uh, let's, let's keep it to the chat uh, for this session. How is everyone? Neutral. Doing well. Nice. Nice to see you, Chris. Yeah, clean. Nice to see you as well. Christine, nice. Uh, let's see, I should spotlight myself. Okay, so I believe I'm in focus now. Um, I hope. And I mean, uh, there's not much to wait for. Uh, if someone joins late, I'm sure they will enjoy it any, anyhow. Uh, so thank you all for, for uh, tuning in to this uh, webinar. This is the first webinar in a series of four that we will be hosting here at uh, Strawbiz. Uh, next week, it will be Fanny, who is uh, co-hosting with me today. Hi, Fanny. Uh, I hope that you can see her. Uh, we are today going to code with uh, the microbits. And uh, I mean, for those of you who has one, I, I recommend you to, to, if it's nearby, ring it. Uh, I'm going to try to learn out a little bit of, of coding uh, while learning myself. Uh, and uh, I will be around afterwards if uh, someone has a code that they would like to try or have a question. Um, yeah, I, I'd be happy to stay around for, for a while. Um, today, we also have two guests starring. We have the baby robot uh, and we have the crane that we're going to play around a little bit, especially with the crane. And uh, with those, we have also the robotic inventions for microbit. I call those the robotic invention. Uh, and this is what we use for the microbit. And we are going to go for 30 minutes today. So I will try to be as um, efficient as possible. And uh, before we get started, I, I will try to answer uh, my own question here. Uh, why code with strawbis? And uh, my personal answer is that why? Well, because uh, it is fun. Uh, me myself, I am uh, more of a builder. I love to build and I find the joy in coding when I have built something and later on can control it using code. Uh, so just to give you an idea of, of what I like to do, uh, and since I'm, uh, I have your uh, full attention right now, I, I figured I would go ahead and share some of my Twitter feed with you. Uh, let's see. I hope that you all are we sharing my screen now? Funny. Yes, I can see it. Everybody Perfect. can see it. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so let's start. This is an infinity heptagon uh, using a, a servo motor and a simple code. Uh, I think this is cool. Uh, we have a uh, infinity roller coaster, uh, we could call it. Uh, Tricky here is to just simply time the code so it's correct. Uh, then I saw you in the in the chat, Sam. Uh, here we have Sam who used the, the Sam Yancy using the micro bit in a creative way uh, for a, a, a ninety degree right. Uh, yeah, degree. Everybody see what it is uh, using that lovely uh, pink uh, beautiful animal. I, I don't remember the name of in English, uh, but yeah, I like those stuff. Uh, here we have, I saw earlier today, we have the Mu school districts in Pennsylvania uh, who has created some uh, earthquake simulators. Uh, let's see, uh, with some different experiments. Uh, find it kind of cool. Uh, we have dancing robot. Uh, let me share just to, I don't know if you can hear the sound, but it, it, it yeah, that's really good. Uh, Yeah, kind of cool. I like also how the servo motor sound is in, in line with the music. We have a Ferris wheel. Uh, here we have a Twitter bird with a light sensor. So when you hold it up to the to the, the light, it, it flies more uh, like it would like to, to fly against the light. Uh, we have a, a, a robot um, remote co controlled car. Uh, kind of cool. Uh, we have a big crane, uh, also remote control. 
we have Sam Yancey, who has been using the, the lighting sensor that the microbit has. And uh, what we have here is a hair, a desert hair. And um, I learned this uh, by Twitter. They, their blood vessels are expanding in the shadow, uh, shadow uh, to cool them off from, from the sun. Yeah, it says, says right here. Uh, again, Sam, who has made a uh, solar panel uh, that follows the, the sun, uh, which, I mean, makes sense. Uh, so this is just to show you something. And the point is, uh, my job, it's, it's not to code or build. Uh, I work to make sure that teachers and school districts are happy with uh, what they have and what they, uh, that they actually have what they need. And uh, I love my job. Uh, thing is, I do not code and build as much as I would like to do. And uh, I picture that I might not be the only one uh, having this uh, situation uh, that you can't spend as much time learning, uh, coding and building as you, yeah, as one might have wished. But uh, I will try to at least pass on some of what I know today. Uh, and the most important thing is to realize that you don't need to be a hacker. You don't need to be an expert to, to make, it, make this work. Uh, what I find the most engaging about the, uh, about coding, uh, it is the loops, the, the, the thinking loops that starts once you have got started and when you start to think what, what you actually could be, be able to create. Uh, I have a project. Uh, I, am, uh, I have a map uh, mapped out in my head on how to improve a dishwasher uh, really much using a micromit. Uh, so that's a, that's a long-term uh, term, uh, goal. And uh, the thing is, as a, I mean, probably LG, Bosch, Siemens, uh, et cetera, they use something like the micromit to control their dishwashers, um, washing machine, et cetera. But it's developed by themselves, um, of course. Uh, this is a bit specialized. and. Uh, this is developed by Microsoft and BBC, the British network. And what is very important to, to understand, I believe, when you are working with learning out coding to, to uh, young students, it is that you do not learn them to build a mechanical crane or a waving baby robot. You learn them the basics of coding. That's, that's the thing. Uh, because coding, that is something great. Uh, this technique has made a huge difference in the world. Uh, and it is, I mean, this one right, right here, this is something that is really complex. You, this is something that you find in a Tesla or a Mars lander. Uh, but what this one, specifically this one is as well, is that it is adapted to be good for education. And the micro bit and the straw bees, they fit really good together here because both are a low floor, wide range, high ceiling product, so to speak. And, and what I mean with that is that with a low floor, you have a, everybody can do it. It's easy to get started. You have a wide range of what's actually possible to, to do. And you have a high ceiling. Uh, and, and that means that you are able to do some, some really complex things. And with the possibilities that students have to create with a tool that's not that limited or more or less not limited at all, learning loops starts easy. That's the thing. And I know that, uh, well, robots uh, that you, you uh, tell to go straight, go right, go straight, and then strike, that's, that's really fun. Uh, and uh, it is. This is not that. This is also really fun. Uh, but this is not the same thing. This is something that learns the student how to build this robot that you can tell to go straight, go right, go straight, and then strike. So you learn the basics of it. Uh, and, and this is just as easy to use either way. Uh, easier, actually, I would say. So before we get started, uh, I will soon share my screen with you again, and we are going to take a look at the features of the micro bit. Uh, I might not be able to read much in the chat, but if you have something, write, because I have made sure that people are here that can write. And yeah, I, again, Sam Yancy, I saw you. You, I know that you have some answers. Uh, Lindsay, probably here somewhere, can, can answer. Fanny and Derek, etc. I ask you now to answer questions. Uh, so let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Share screen. 
and have a look at the micro bit. So what we see here, a micro, a funny thumbs up if, if we see the micro bit now. Yeah, we can see it. Wonderful. So yeah, what we see here, this is the micro bit uh, a bit in detail. What features we have with a micro bit, this is the version two. We have a, a micro bit, a mi microphone uh, right over here. We have a radio function, radio antenna. Uh, we have a processor. In this processor, you also have a, a temperature sensor. You have a, a speaker, you have LED lights, you have some buttons and a touch logo, which means that is also a, a button. Um, and uh, have I missed something? Yeah, you have a compass and accelerometer, meaning that you can, uh, yeah, you, yeah, people know perhaps what an accelerometer is, but you can measure G forces. You can say that something should happen when, a, a, when the microbit is. Um, exposed for a certain g-force etc so you have a lot of features on this one and how to code with this and strawbis what you do is simply that you go to strawbis classroom now funny two things uh, first off please share the link for the upcoming webinars in the chat uh, so that people are able to sign up and now also please share uh, the link to strawbis classroom our newly launched learning platform uh, so let's go there uh, it's it's really easy. Classroom.strawbees.com, and then you're there. So this is how it looks. Uh, and now let's maybe I should zoom in a little bit. Yes. I can move it. Yeah. Log in. Uh, Okay, so now we're into Strawbis Classroom. This is how you start to code with Strawbis. And as I said, we're going to play around a little bit with the crane and consider this to be kind of a, like a, 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 where a cooking show. I have made some preparations. The, the crane is already built. But when you come into Strawbis Classroom, this is activity. You start the activity, you find out what materials you do need. And then we start with some preparations. First though, Fanny, do we have any questions in the chat? Uh, not yet, you're doing amazing. Uh, but just to mention again, if you have any questions, just write them in the chat and we will yes. answer them. Correct, yeah, please, please be interactive guys. You know how it is to just talk to a screen and, and every interaction that we can have, I appreciate it. I think it's so much more fun. I think it's fun in, in either way, but okay. Back to Strawbis Classroom. Here we are. Uh, so you have these step by step, guys. We start with putting together uh, this one, the, the robotic invention. So only thing missing for me right now is to slide in the micro bit here. Uh, and then we think, I think we're going to be able to skip some steps which are already made. We skip, skip, skip. We connect the, the, the uh, micro bits to the computer. It's done. And then we move on. We start a new project in make code, either using that one or we will do like this. Uh, well, make code.com. Choose the micro bit. New project. And uh, let's call this uh, crane. Okay. Now we're in here. Uh, what is the next step? Add Strawbis extension. So I go here, I go here, extensions, Strawbis. I add the Strawbis extension. Now we have them right over here. You see? Uh, next step after that, what is that? Pair the okay. micro bits. Yes. Is it possible that you can zoom in a little when you are in the bathroom? Oh, for sure. Good idea. Sorry about that. Okay, so we are here on step eight. Uh, good input, funny, thank you. Uh, pair the micro bit. So I think if we go here and have a look, it is already, it says connected. So I'm, I, I'm assuming I'm already connected. Uh, turn on the robotics boards, done. And uh, zero the servo motor. Okay, so it says here, 
forever set zero set servo a position to zero yeah forever input uh our service set server a to position zero and then it says download okay so let's download let's see what happens okay so we have found position zero uh great we go to the next step make the top of the crane that's done attach it's done it's done but you see it's very easy to follow if you haven't made the preparations here and uh, make the mechanical linkage okay now it's some coding is again find the uh, idle position range so now experiment around let's follow this guy 40 70 60. Uh, let's see what happens if we type 40 download Okay, so that's 40%. And something that could be good to, to know here is like if you go to a block and you don't really understand it, you can always go to, you, you right click on it and go to help. And what we learn here is okay, the position is ranging from 0% to 100%. So 0%, and now we're at 40. Uh, next, we will try 70. Okay, so that's 70. I mean, I, I, we might not need to, to, uh, to do 60 as well. Uh, let's see what's the next suggestion to do. Control the server with buttons. Okay, on button A pressed, set servo A to position zero. Button B pressed, set, okay. Uh, so input. Uh, on button A pressed. And this is a cool feature as well. So you might know it, but this is just as copy pasting. Control C, Control V. I have double. And now just change that one to be B. And then I want another one. Control C, Control V. Double one. Set server A to 70% when we press on, uh, on A. And B, we set it to 0%. Download. Let's see. Uh, okay, is it? It's downloaded. Now we're trying here. Uh, bottom A, okay, up a little bit, seventy percent. Bottom B, down, zero percent. Okay, I mean it's kind of fade proof so far. Uh, let's move on. Okay, so now we're going to be challenged a little bit more. On start, set position to zero. Um, mm -hmm. We start with that. Uh, and then where do we find that? Mm, let's see, input perhaps. More, music, strawberries, input. Uh, make a variable. Ah, yeah, that's what we need to do. Position. As you can see, I'm not a fish in the water when it comes to this, uh, but I, I really enjoy it. and. What's most important is it's so easy. Uh, now I just had a look. Okay, that's red. It's it says red here. Should be on red, right? Then you yeah you, you make yourself uh, your way around. Uh, what was the next step? On start set position to zero. On start set position to zero. Yes, good. Forever set server a position to position. Set server A position to position. Set servo A position to, and we have this one since before, to position, okay. Uh, and then change position by one. The servo motor will fast, uh, move faster if you, okay, so we can increase that number if we want to. Uh, on button A, so now let's delete. I push, push delete, delete, variables, Set position to, no, change position. Okay, change position. Control C, Control V, uh, minus, let's go with 10 instead. I think, well, I think one is too small, plus 10. 
10 and minus 10. Okay, download. Uh, let's see. Do we have any questions, Fanny? Uh, no, not yet. Um, no, just continue. Okay. We will take it later. I mean, well, anyhow, this is running uh, smoothly for me at least. I'm pressing one and I'm moving the crane up and down. Uh, no one has a question. Come on, guys. Someone needs to has a, have a question, right? Well, I'm moving on. Uh, okay, I have a question. Shoot. You spoke about your dishwasher. Yeah. Uh, now when you are inside make code, uh, what yeah. features are you thinking to use? Uh, yeah, well, to code? let's let's not go into depth, but I like I, I, I picture myself we you can use the, the temperature sensor so that you release the water in then you have a servo motor, something like that. You open for the, the yeah, let's not go well. Good question though, really good question. <laughs> uh well i mean okay so now we have done that uh now we're going to challenge ourselves a little bit more uh and now at least you need to act in the chat so uh, again let's go back to the feature uh microbate features let's go back here and have a look now i need your support so uh let's see we're going to go with we have some some different options. We have the touch log, we have the radio antenna, we have the speaker, we have the microphone, and we have, yeah, also what we have is a light sensor as well. I, I didn't mention that. So, okay, let's do it like this. Uh, if we're going to do the next code with the, uh, the microphone, with a sound uh, microphone, type a one in the chat. And if we are going to go with the light sensor, type a two in the chat. So one for sound, two for light. Now we need to see some action in the chat. Come on, guys. I see some, I see the number, but I don't see what people are writing. I can see that people are interacting and um, yeah, not to give them too much of a time. We have a winner on one, the sound. On one, sound, sound, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's challenging. Uh, and we might, yeah, I hope that everybody will be able to see the finish of this. Uh, so let's see. I know that sound it is uh, over here uh, on loud sound. Uh, let's do like that. Change. Let's see what happens if we do only like this. Uh, let's see what will happen. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, it works kind of, I mean, it works uh, kind of, it, it reacts to when I speak though, but works, you see, and then, but now I can press B. Not something is wrong here, okay. Uh, set position to zero, uh, and if you have some suggestions uh, in the chat as well, type them. Uh, because this we can't make much of in the real world. Uh, this is a non-function prototype right now, so we need to, to find a solution. Uh, first off, okay, it reacts to when I speak. Uh, that we need to change. Uh, let's see, more. Forever, set loud sound threshold to, let's see what happens if we increase that, like that perhaps. So what I'm doing now is, uh, okay, we can do like this. Uh, Sound, help. What does this say over here? Uh, oh, it doesn't say much uh, when it comes to this. Uh, let's put it like, we can actually, we can investigate it by ourselves. I was wanting to find out. Okay, so maximum sound, 255 minimum zero yeah so let's go with it was 150 let's go with 169 but we also need to okay. get the, the server down yeah can you zoom in a little and make make it uh, uh, bigger yeah like this if I better understood it right christine it was a suggestion in the chat yeah i hope this is better okay 
Uh, and you know, I will stay around if you have any questions and we can take some time to work this for, because I know that it goes fast now, uh, but we need to, like you see, we're, we're stuck here. So we need to get the, the, the crane down. Uh, and I think just for now, uh, maybe we can try with transit servo A. So we should transit servo A, position two, let's go with zero over one second on start. So let's see what happens if we do that. Then it should go it down. Yeah, and now I can speak freely. How, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I need to, I need to, ah, ah. I need to shout a little bit louder. I hope nobody wears earphones uh, because it might, yeah. Oh, oh. I mean, it works actually, uh, but uh, we are, why does it work to take it? Was it because I was speaking so much before? It did, did not go down. Yeah, probably was, right? Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, th this is a bit challenging. I'm, I'm pretty sure there are room for improvements. Uh, I'm also a little bit unsure on, on where just this crane would have been to use, but there are things. I, I start to think now, okay, what would be helpful? Uh, Maybe uh, the, the truck on a, on a car, if you shout on it, it can open perhaps. Or you can shout on it and it, it, it closes. Um, oh, 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 oh. Uh, I mean- Does it uh, work when you clap your hands? No. Uh, I, I, we have learned one thing at least, 169, that is loud. Uh, that's for sure. And also, guys, the, the whole idea of this webinar is, and please stay around if you have any questions, but we start to run out of time now. Whole idea is that uh, you should know that it's, it is easy to get started. I'm not good at this, but I, I, I enjoy it. And, and like when you start to doing this and when you start to realize what there isn't any limitations, you you will you will have engagement in your classroom uh, most definitely and and that's why this step by step guide is so crucial it helps with the confidence that you need to get started uh, so i funny please post again through this classroom link in the chat uh, and then i also think that we should uh, again stay around please everybody but for those who has to go uh, I thank you very much for joining uh, for this session. And I hope you will join for the rest of the series that we will have. Uh, right now, I think that Fanny, you will have the next webinar we have in a week. If you would like to maybe say a word or two about what that's going to be about, that would be great. Yeah, so next Wednesday uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern time, uh, I will host a webinar and talk more about uh, SDGs. So you will learn how to apply SDGs with strawbees. And uh, we will talk about how strawbees are working towards different SDGs. And I will give you some tips and tricks on how you can apply SDGs in your classroom. So make sure you sign up and hopefully I will see you there. And Yes, again, I, yeah, thank you, Fanny, and thank you, everyone who has been here. Uh, I see now, now I can see the chat again, there has been some activity. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I will be around. Uh, if there is anyone who has, a, does anyone have a suggestion for improvement? Does anyone have made a, is there anyone who has made their own code that they would like to share that we can try with this crane uh, now once we're hooked up? Or is there anyone who would like to see the waving baby, perhaps? I want Someone? to see. Someone? Huh? You want to I see want it? I want to see, yeah. Thank you. Monica wants to see it. Wonderful. Uh, and let's see. Waving baby, yeah, there's please. there's more coming in. Ah, okay. More people want to see it. Yeah, happy about that. Okay, so let's do like this. You, you saw the code that was in this. And I don't like or enjoy shouting at the babies, uh, but this is the code we have right now. So let's just plug this one in here. Okay, we're on. 
uh, it has some sort of core already. Uh, just just plug it out. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here you have your little arm baby. Can everybody see it now? Uh, and okay, so now you want to see, but I just push, I'm connected with this micro bit now instead. I just push download on the last code I had on the crane. Uh, oh, 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 you see, this baby doesn't like to be shouted. Uh, kind of, moves. yeah, it, you see, this is, let's, let's, if you rub it a little bit here on the belly, it, the, the thumbs, it goes up again. So now this one it likes, but oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this one it doesn't like, you see? Uh, and yeah, I mean, you should probably be able to play around a little bit more creative with this, but at least we know that it doesn't like. So I can give you a small hint, guys. Uh, this is something for those who are uh, stay still here. What the purpose of this robot is, is something we are developing right now with uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, yeah, good point, Christine. You shouldn't work with high, uh, high um, uh, noise levels in the classroom. Uh, I, I, it would have been a really chaotic situation if everybody was sitting like I, I did right now. Uh, so maybe that's more for, I don't know, but there's, be creative. This baby right here, it is for uh, artificial intelligence. We are, we are developing uh, something right now. Uh, and actually, I don't know if this might even be co co confidential. So this is for you who stays around. Uh, but this little baby is going to hold a table in front of it. And then it's going to roll down balls. And then you have a, a, a webcam, a normal webcam. And it will be able to, to say what color it is on the ball and if it likes the color or not. And that's just, that's next level generation, or maybe not generation, that's the wrong word, but that is the next level. AI is coming in and this little fella right here, the micro bit is ready for it. Uh, so that's something we, we will, yeah, that will become, that will come sooner or later. And that is really cool. But for now, this baby uh, will not like to be shouted at, right? Well, it likes to be robbed on the belly. Uh, let me ask you, those of you who, who are still here, how many are using the micro bit? Christine, yes, yes. Okay. All the time, clapping and snapping fingers. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Uh, well, I mean, how... How do you find it? Uh, how do you find it oh, with all these features that it has? Never used? Uh, okay, Sam, tell me a little bit, if, you, if you're still around and if you have a, an idea, tell me a little bit, what, what do you think about, oh, this is hard, but all the features that we have in a micro bit. Uh, is there anything that, that you can compare it with really? Because I don't know, that, that's, that's the thing, I don't know. If you want, Sam, I can make uh, that you can talk uh, if you want to tell us over here or if you want to stay in the chat. Yeah, maybe uh, it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a snowball thrown, uh, thrown in the <laughs> face almost. If, maybe he's in the, in the bed. <laughs> okay, nice, Sam. Hello, Sam. Hey, Rasmus, can you hear me now? I hear you loud and clear. Oh, super. Um, there's, I love the micro bit because it's just really accessible. I love how students that have never coded before, teachers that have never done programming can pick up with the micro bit and go so easily um, and gain confidence in coding. Um, but I also like how students that have coded or teachers that do teach computer science can really go a lot further with it as well. Um, yeah. So I, there are other, you know, microcontrollers and microprocessors, um, and I, I really just don't find something that says quite like the micro bit. And but I also like how whether you have the micro bit version one or you have the version two, 
you can do all of these different activities or lessons on the Strawberries Classroom. So um, it's just a really uh, great option based upon whatever, uh, whichever you have with the micro bit. Yeah, yeah, and I agree. I mean, I learned I learned to code uh, with microbit. I, I'm I'm uh, having a hard time uh, telling that I'm an expert at it right now, but I have come to that important stage, and, and that went really quick, where you start to to see possibilities uh, of what you actually can create using this tool, and that went really fast. Uh, so. I feel that now when we have the Strobis classroom as a, as a step-by-step guide to be there for the first confidence, uh, the micro business, it's all of a sudden robotics, it, it is accessible for everyone, uh, more or less. Um, and that's what I, that's why I promote the micro bit the way I do, because I, I think it's, it truly is an amazing tool. It uh, is, with the Strobis, you also are adding that building element and that hands-on element. So. Students aren't spending as much time figuring out how the different com robotic components work. They're having more time to be creative and to create what they want to create and to solve the problems they want to solve. So it's like this tool that they can easily learn and go further with, but they're not having to figure out um, just what it, uh, it's, it's not a tool that, that, is, uh, that holds them back. It's something more that, that unlocks them to be able to, yeah, to create whatever designs they want to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you summarize it as always, Sam. You summarize it really good. Uh, thank you. Let's see what Christine are uh, writing. One of my favorite projects is to use alligator clips with wires uh, and the pins so that uh, completing a circuit affects uh, the server motor position. And yeah, I mean, that is, that is great. Uh, that's something you can do here as well. So you adapt, you, uh, you attach micro bit alligator clips here uh, and i don't know do i have an alligator clip laying around i do not unfortunately uh but for those i do for those of you who does not know what an alligator clip is this is an alligator clip so instead of i mean using for example this wire over here you can use this wire or you can use this as a control. So you, we will go more into depth with that in a, another webinar. Uh, but you can you can use uh, you you can control them so that you have a, a bottom more or less. Uh, but yeah, I love that, that, that's a good uh, input, Christine. Let's see what else do we have here. Have I missed something in the chat, Fanny? Nope. Sandra Freitas, you and I should connect. I think we can solve that. Well, guys, you know what? I mean, uh, let's see if there is anyone that has any more to. Uh, otherwise, I, I'm I'm kind of ready to to wrap it up. We are. Are we happy or? Yeah. I'm still up. We are happy here. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice afternoon. Yeah, looking forward to that as well. The AI product will come. Uh, again, have a, a wonderful afternoon, evening, uh, morning wherever you are in the world. Uh, take care. And uh, I hope to see you in the chat next week. I will be there. Uh, make sure that you are as well. Take care and bye-bye.